Looped items in origami are able to have interaction applied to them like any other layout in origami would. In this Facebook notifications prototype, we've applied a background color switch to each looped item. But we've also selected one special instance of this loop to have a page transition trigger. If you've gone through the introduction to loops, there's only one more patch you need to know to be able to do this. Download the lesson files to follow along as we rebuild this prototype. You'll see from our starting lesson files that we've left off from the introduction to loops content with the addition of some standard interactions. One of these includes tapping on a notification, which turns on a switch, which will change the background color from blue to a white. It will also change the text color from light blue to gray. This is great because we need this for every single one of our looped items. But what if we just wanted to have one of these notifications change? For example, what if we had a specific screen for each of these notifications to animate to individually? That's why we've included screen two. We want to transition to this screen only when we have tapped on the second notification. Let's just restart our prototype by clicking on the restart prototype button on top of the viewer. We need to insert a loop select patch to only select this one specific instance of the loop. Let's double tap on the editor start typing in loop select and press return. We want to listen for if the second notification is tapped. So connect the tap output from our notification interaction patch to the first input of our loop select patch. We want to only select the second item of the loop. Since loops and indexes always start from zero, that means the second item is number one. So in the index loop input, let's type one. We can now connect the output of the loop select to turn on the screen's switch. Make sure you connect it to turn on and not flip. Now, when we tap on the second notification and only on the second notification, it will take us to that screen. Let's restart that prototype again, just to see that once more. So it's only the second notification or index one, since the first index is zero, that will turn on the switch and trigger this animation. We've mastered how to create loops and now we've mastered how to interact with specific items within a loop. For anything else more complex or to get a better grasp of what we've just covered, Check out the related examples.